Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Before we begin the news today, I have a number of words to say. First and foremost, thanks to you all for supporting the content creators, big ones and small. Thanks go to Jake for yelling the loudest and also to Eric for knowledge and prowess. Thanks go to Shiver for this information and thanks go to me for inebriation. And now, without rhyming, thanks to the person who told me this week that I was entertaining. It honestly meant more than I thought, and I think we should all give it some thought. Telling the people you watch and enjoy that they mean something to you. It's really a joy. Oh, sorry, did I say that I'd stop rhyming? Come on, you know me, I was clearly lying. So welcome everyone from all sorts of places to the station of Relay, to the realest of places. Jake, do I... Do I make you hate your Did life? Did someone actually tell you <laughs> that you're entertaining? Actually, yeah. While I was streaming uh, some right. Star Citizen, then FF15, someone was like, "Yeah, I don't care what you play. I'm just, hey. I'm just here to watch you because you're, you know, you Question. seem like a nice person Have and a decent human being." Question for the chat. Go, Jake. What's your question, okay, well, and how offensive is it to me? It's really not. Uh, how do I access the Logitech settings? Because I'm <laughs> auto-focusing, and it, I'm mad. <laughs> uh, it's in Skype. Go to Skype, Tools. Oh, it's in Skype. Okay. Tools, Options, uh, Web right. Video Settings, Webcam You're Settings, right. Advanced right. Settings. Or wait, no, it's not in Advanced Settings. It's oh. Super Advanced Settings. All right, things are going to get weird for a sec. I apologize. <laughs> there you go, Jake. It's getting Updates weird. Feels like that. Yep, 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 yep. I think we've now established that you've dated every girl. That's what Fast Car says, but I'm still waiting. No, no, I'm not. Don't say that it, sentence. Shiver. No, I'm not gonna. Good. Nope. <sighs> now I'm make back. a rap out of that. Sorry. I don't rap. Yeah, it's pretty offensive. Yeah. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorite uh, posts on the subreddit right now is, do the Vanduul have cafeterias on their large ships? That's Vanduul, a good question. Vanduul microwaves. Are there crew duels awkwardly sitting on the edge of their tables? What's the Vanduul word for lieutenant? Do they eat on trays with pointy edges and glowy red lights because they're evil? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wrote that is an absolute fucking genius. I like it. I really like it. Yep. His his username is I drive a small car. I mean, I also drive. Salute to you, sir. I love driving my small car. Small cars are great. So we learned this week that forklifts have survived to the thirtieth century. Just regular, plain old forklifts. Yep. I you mean, you would have thought in the future they would have mixed it with a digger, so you could have had a spork lift. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, good. oh no. <laughs> I've waited many years to make that joke. I'm so proud of Are myself. You, have you? Have you really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just that specific one, or just a joke with spork lift in it? <laughs> uh, that specific one, there's still a list. Okay. <laughs> hey, Flynn. Hey, welcome to everyone that's uh, joined us either before or just oh. joined us in time for that. Um, I'm back. Yes, Paul, I am. I have returned. Yeah. Um, Prince return. I am now in... A uh, housing situation that isn't a small room. That's a bonus. And that's it. Um, or, well, a living room, to be more precise. Hey, um, David, you're dropping, like, all the frames right now. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Which has got more frames? Eris or 3.0? 3.0, probably. <laughs> and th this is, like, I honestly don't want to know what to do, because I streamed on Tuesday... And I didn't drop any. But Tuesday, everything uh, was completely fine. From last week, you right, last week, last week you dropped like two percent. 
Sorry, what was Try that? Try changing what? The 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 ingest server, the Twitch server My location. Twitch server is Toronto, Canada. Well, pick a different one. Well, I can't right now. Uh, We're running the fact. stream. I can't stop and switch stream server things during the stream, can I? No, I can't, Jake. You know... Uh, you know. You know. I like that. I like so, our title. I like our title, and then looking at what's happening on the stream. So I would like everyone to know um, <laughs> that over the, over my time that I've been away, I've played an absurd amount of World of Warcraft. I mean, this is not anything new, but I hit Exalted with the High Mountain Tauren, Ooh. and uh, so they're they're Tauren, but they have moose antlers. Yes, it's they do. Excellent. Do you have a? I need this the image uh, of that. Here, I'll I'll pu- I'll make a better one right now. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. You're gonna have to make uh, a better image of that because it's beautiful. I made I made a high mountain torrent and I named it something pretty great. Hold on. Yeah. Stand by. Launching World of Warcraft. <laughs> well oh god, so many drops. Listen, I gotta make the joke. The joke needs to be free. Whatever. I only drop all it's frames here. every two minutes. So let's let's talk about uh, let's talk a little bit about Star Citizen because there's a lot to talk about. Uh, 3.1 went out to the avocados, so that's good. Uh, Eric, you were saying a week or two ago that needed to make it by like this week to make it in your mind, right? I was saying it had to be out had had to be the avocado by March 15th in order to make it out. They beat it by a week, so. Here he is, everybody. It's it's a moose torrent called Eris. It is Eris. Um, also, it. if you look at the character right above him, if any of you watched Strong Bad back in the day, you'll understand that reference. I don't think they can see it. It's too blurry. Here, here, here. Look at it with your eyes. Oh, it won't let me. No. Fine. No, Fine. Any- I can't make more jokes. I'm only allowed the one. Amazing. Uh, yes, the High Mountain Torrent is basically they're they're halfway between Canadians and like like Native Americans. They're like smashed together. Sounds boring. Right. Sitting moose. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much. Okay. One of them's a dragon in disguise. The end. Robots wow. in disguise. So we, can I take a brief detour into something that's <laughs> something ridiculous? Yeah. So there was an update. This actually there was an update today on um, on the lawsuit between Crytek and oh really? CIG. Um. So in Discovery, uh, one of the things that CIG is not thrilled about in Discovery, Crytek literally wants access to everything that's ever been done on Star Citizen including every build of the game ever made, all communications ever ever between anybody and anybody within the company or outside the company, and uh, basically all of the books for the game and all of the marketing for the game. Wow. And so so CIG has filed a protective order um, basically asking the court to protect it from abusive actions by, um, by Crytek. Good. Yes. So yeah. that's the the update. question is: Will the court? I guess. Uh, I guess Hunt Showdown sold pretty well. I guess for some reason. <laughs> no, it's like a lot of six out of ten on Steam. It's not exactly spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess uh, they've yeah, got to. Let's see. Throw yeah, sixty-eight percent. Everything at the wall and see whether or not the judge will say. Well, you can have that, but you can't have this, and you can have that. So I suppose it would be a safety method. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, um, well. Fuck Crytek. That's all there is to it. <laughs> They're the actual worst. Yeah. Yep. It, it's actually funny, because like until Crytek started pulling this shit, I would have been like, no, you know what? 
uh, Activision are the worst or EA are the uh, worst. I eh. mean, at least Activision and EA pay their employees. Yeah. Yeah. Crytek is the actual worst. Because yeah. here's the thing. Activision and EA can treat us like shit, but they at least pay the people that make the games. Crytek yeah. treats everyone like shit. Their employees, the people that, you know, bought their engine to work with it, and then the engine was shit and nothing ever got done on it, so they had to do uh, it all themselves. Because, you know, some people just decide brings- to hike up their fucking pants and do some fucking work like real fucking people. Fast no brings up the escapist. Uh, pretty much nobody works there anymore, so I don't think we'll ever get anything, any closure from them. The only, I mean, the only thing that keeps them going is uh, um, yeah, zero see. punctuation. It's so. yeah, which is kind of sad because I can't even remember the last time I went and watched that. Uh, I still watch it. Uh, Yahtzee is pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, but I don't watch it on The Escapist. I watch it on YouTube. Oh, well, there you go. Good. Okay, let's... Uh, we're going to move over to the show and tell board because we got some stuff to show and tell because there was a lot of a lot of so- shown stuff this week. Uh, first, we're going to look through some of the images uh, that were, were shown. Thanks. Oh, yeah, we had tons of stuff this week. Why can't I grab Jake's? What? Jake's You're... not grabbable. No, I'm not. There we go. Ah, better. Okay. Um, there were a lot of images this week. Uh, I literally understand zero of them. I understand all of them. So, okay. If you want to ask me about one, get wrecked, them... David. Well, what are all of these images? <laughs> There are images. Oh, the, the, group the, fir- of uh, the first one is units. called Audience. The second one is called Cockpit UI. Uh, well, the first image you showed yeah. was oh. uh, was uh, basically how the game um, tells that an object has moved um, inside the game world. And how to optimize that, essentially. Um, instead of checking every position in the game to see where the where the ship is, it basically, um, in, a, in a data set, um, moves the one that has moved and then takes the one at the end of the data set and puts it where it used to be. It's, yeah, you have to listen to ATV to get the full explanation. But it basically takes a thousand operations down to four. So... That That's probably a helps a little big bit. Improvement. Yeah. Uh, this one, I believed, was some network work. Um, network work? Yeah. Less less uh, work on the network and less uh, main thread works. I'll have to see it before I can tell you. Okay. Uh, um, so what this is, this is actually showing the situation when it was bad. Um, and before they did any optimization, this was how right at the end of each frame, they would try and do the full update for the entire game. Um, so they'd update like everything in one frame. Um, or not, not everything in one frame, but everything at the end of each frame. And then it would, it would flood over into this, the next frame, which would stall the main thread, which is why we were seeing things like CPU spike problems and where the game would just freeze for a while. (laughs) um they solved this you should have another picture i think um sort of like this but they solved this by essentially utilizing multi-threading and uh taking a lot of the load off of the network thread so that uh solved that problem all i know is there's a lot of images this week having to do with like optimization of things and yep yeah this is just the uh, this is just that like that that next image was just the like flow of a frame like what happens in a single frame, and then that's the image I was talking about the one you just put up yeah, yeah that's um that was the improved situation where you can see the network thread in the middle is is much much clearer, and uh, they moved a lot of the work off of the the network thread to uh, to other threads. Now is this running hey, now? using multi-threading? Yes, that's what they've done for 3.1, I believe. Okay. 
So we should so we should see that shortly and see if it actually has yeah, an see effect. If it, I mean, well, it, it, see if it, it has an effect say, and nothing else has an effect. Don't expect 60 FPS in 3.1 and certainly not stable 60 FPS if you get it. They actually it. said don't expect 60 FPS during alpha, period. Like, it's just not, they can't do feature development and get it to 60 FPS at the same time. Because new features slow it down, so they can't get it back up that high. That sounds like it's going to be more towards the end. So, But, you know, 30 would be good. It which, would. Is, <laughs> which is helpful because, like, like, people out there expect it to be playable. <laughs> And this is this is a true alpha, not this is not really early access. Yeah. No, this is alpha alpha. This is so, real. Alpha. I think yeah. Jake hit it right exactly it's not on the head. Marketing with the word alpha. Playable. This it's an alpha version. You're not supposed to really be playing it. You're supposed to be testing it out. Yep. I mean, what they want is for us to play it, but mm. what what they're gonna end up with is you know i again i mean 30 would be fine the problem is not that it's it doesn't need to be 60 right now the problem is it needs to not be 15 or 10 um because uh, honestly star citizen is actually pretty smooth at low frame rates but it not at 15 frames uh 30 is pretty okay 40 is fine 60 is going to be amazing but they just they're trying to be clear that it's very, very, very difficult to hit that during active de development. Active, active feature development. Because every fe new feature you put in slows the game down. So, it it's, yeah, hard to get there. I mean, you wouldn't, from a development standpoint as well, you wouldn't want to be taking optimization as far as you can right now so it is this amazingly buttery smooth 60 fps because in a couple of weeks time the entire thing's going to change and all that work you just did to get it to that point is gone exactly and then you got to that was start the point again. that was the point they made every time they add a feature they they basically um every time they add a feature they have to do a lot of performance optimization work again so if they spent an enormous effort getting it to 60 and then added another feature it'd probably be back down to 30 so it's like you know, I, I it, have it would to be say, too much work. I mean, 3.0 was such a drastic overhaul of the game. Like, going from 2.0 to 3.0 was huge. It was implementing yeah. all of the item system stuff and, and basically laying the, the, basically laying the, the foundation of what they actually want to build the game on. Because keep in mind, like, 1.0 was all trash. Like, stuff before, that was, they had to put something out to m mollify us. And then 2.0 was like figuring out how to make that into something workable. And then 3.0 is, okay, this is what we're going with, more or less, right? Yeah, this, this the is biggest, the beginning of the game, yeah. The, the biggest thing for 3.0 was that we didn't get a performance loss. Mm, it was a pretty big performance loss. Was it that big? Well, keep in mind, you gotta I mean, going from make sure you and it's gotten better, but I mean, yeah, I guess the released 3.0 wasn't terrible, but it was less than 2.63. But um, I mean, playing the uh, like I played the the PTU for 3.0. And I gotta say the release 3.0 was a hell of a lot better. Yeah. They did say on reverse the verse. Oh, bollocks! Now I've forgotten. <laughs> no, carry on. Okay. I need more sleep. It's been one of those weeks. I've got the fucking builders in next door. I keep getting woken up every hour on the hour from nine o'clock onwards, and I've only been asleep for five hours at that point, Max. So I'm a bit. Uh... <laughs> It'll come back to me. Just let... I'm old okay, as well. Okay. Sounds good. Um, you're not old. So I'm just um... going through a bunch of gifts. Uh. They showed off more character customization. They've been showing off a lot of character customization the past few weeks, which is kind of cool. Um, I, love, they, I love this bit. Yeah. Talking, talking about features, this is the, the beacons. Yeah. Service beacons. Service beacons which will be is big. Huge. 
service bacons. Yeah. Being able to issue quests to other players is a big deal. Yeah, it's it's going to start adding more gameplay that you can do of like I will pay cuz one of the things that I've noticed is uh man, pay right now in Star Citizen sucks. You get like <laughs> 80 yep. UEC to go <laughs> kill 14 <laughs> ships. Yeah, it's a little um a little slim. <laughs> Needs more money. I've just remembered the thing. Oh, they were saying with good. performance, um, if you're playing like Arena Commander or even uh, 3.0 offline, which apparently you shouldn't be doing, that sort of stuff. I don't care or no, but uh, it's a lot better performance, which is a reflection on their work because it just shows, you know these things that are online that are in your client right then and there they're working fine you're not getting five fps or stuttering or anything like that when you're offline so what is in the client what is there right now is fine it's just many many entities and this networking and xyz all pounding into it when you're online online is a very different beast okay I just want to yell right now, so we're going to keep looking at things like the distance field. The distance field? Nice. Shiver, do you want to explain the distance field? Why it looks so um, hallucinogenic? Uh, this was... Uh, fudge. So, I... I, I got the most basic grasp of understanding of it so i try to explain it in my way i might fudge things up i i it, i hope i don't but it's uh again part of optimization and instead of what you would have in uh, let's go with a single player game with a lot where you've got all these distances at this point and before everything's rendered fully after that less and less detail in Star Citizen, with their online world, the way that the... Uh, it's not, strictly speaking, a lot because it also includes network data. Uh, the way it is right now in 3.0, you log into um, Port Olasar and you're aware of everything, everyone, every single entity that is in that server instance right then and there. Whereas when it's in this um, soon-to-be-implemented um, field, it's just going to be like a piece of data rather than fully rendered on your machine, which saves a hell of a lot of time. It, it's um, the difference between sending a couple of kilobytes of ones and zeros and an entire rendered scene. Yeah. Yes, what he said. Uh, one of the most important things this week was the was the actual, like, I now understand what bind culling is, and I understand what serialized variable culling is, and the difference between them, and why one is good, or why they're both good, and why one is hard to implement, so on and so forth. Um, that was a big deal this week. So serialized variable culling is what's coming with um, 3.1. Um, bind culling will not come out until, for us until object container streaming is in because it relies on object object container streaming to work they will have it ready earlier than that for the devs because they need to make sure that it's not going to destroy the game when they <laughs> put it out because what network bind culling is we've been talking about this for a long time but basically the entities that aren't around you simply do not exist in your game they are not there they don't exist, they're not loaded, they're not kept in memory, they have no CPU processing, so it, I mean, it helps, helps a lot with performance. But when you start to fly to a place that doesn't exist, it has to appear before you get there. That requires object container streaming. <laughs> um, serialized variable calling, which is what we're getting and what they hope will give most of the performance benefit that uh, bind calling will, is that the object exists in your game, but the but if it's too far from you, the server stops updating it. So it doesn't take any CPU power. Uh, it does still exist in memory, but it's not updated at all, so your CPU can basically ignore it. Um, and you don't get any network traffic from the server about that 
I, I want to clarify so. something here because there's a lot of discussion going on in chat, but... Uh, Don't. No, no, no. Let's w move on. No, wait. Let's just move along. No, I just... Think of the whole Russian doll thing with the object cold stream. Uh, <laughs> the objects that you can see, say, a Bengal carrier. You can see the outside lap Bengal carrier, and then the um, uh, the object cold stream is not rendering for you the inside of that carrier because you're not there. If someone passes by a window, then yeah, that's going to be rendered. But people on the inside of the carrier, and and that whole philosophy of it's um, like the Russian doll, it's one thing inside of another thing inside of another thing, is how they're getting around being able to render an entire Bengal carrier and potentially hundreds of other ships and people at the same time. Yeah. 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 That was that was very nice. Ghost gave you a uh, huge props for that. Nicely done, there, <laughs> sure. Well done. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Planet Tech improvements are um, spectacular. Uh, they've done a good job of like avoiding the like from. <laughs> Hello. Um. In 3.0, from orbit, you can see some uh, you can see some repetition on the surface, and it looks like they've addressed a lot of that. What's going on here, so. Serious pandering. <laughs> Mac, what's going on? Just the fact that I know I'm this a complete just, bastard this because is now just I just to improve I wish someone would sponsor for the wave and just go flying. <laughs> this is just to improve ratings. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely for ratings. This is a ploy. Um... You said, okay, okay, Mac, <laughs> at this time in the podcast, come I... into the room. And do if the cats things. come in later, we're going to be really suspicious. Yeah, that's it. Well, you know what? I'm calling it. <laughs> Pandering. No, don't Pandering. put that on the See? mic, Mac. See, look, <laughs> look, look at that. He's got a bear look, as well. Look, it's working. It's working. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? No, Mac, Mac, don't put that on. <laughs> Why, David? Because then they hear it. It makes noise in the microphone. Okay, Mac, what do you think about... This. How does I'm this look? Thing. What do you think? Does that look cool? Nope. Not at all? Not Mac, same. <laughs> same. Not at all. Okay. How about... I don't know if there's anything that looks cool this week. Reclaimer, Terrapin. I don't know if we actually have that Maybe. stuff. Reclaimer we should have. Yeah. Does this look cool? All right. So catch me up. Have they confirmed thing like vehicles for 3.1? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Reclaimer's in. Is that a giant um, Yes. Snap. I mean, didn't the Nox Q get pushed up as well according it, to the schedule? It just did this week, I think. Yeah. Um, that, silver um, one. Talking of the schedule, the Drake... Oh, not the Drake, the... Freelancer Durr reappeared on the schedule. Yes, I think it was a mistake that it wasn't there Shiver, already. Is it the silver one? I don't yes. know. My Mac. Who knows? Yes, so, it is. It's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, it's the silver one. Uh, the, so the Nox Q is in 3.1. The Reclaimer, the Terrapin, the oh, Razor, for the Terrapin, the Misk Razor, and the Tumbrel Cyclone. The Terrapin needs a small. Scout fighter that attaches to the back of it, and then I can name it the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> we already have a ship literally ghost. halfway between the ghost and an ATTE. Oh, what? Okay, where is that? Do you not know what an ATTE was, um, is, David? Which is the. It's the six legged walkers from the Clone Wars. Oh, those ones. Okay. Yeah. So, what did you guys it's think that, of. Uh... What did you guys think of the planet stuff and the, like, improved room placement for... Where's the room placement? Oh, the room placement was the, there. uh, was the... 
the truck stops. Yeah. Yeah, that was the uh, that was them generating. Fight me, a Paul! Fight me! Uh oh! Fight me! Uh oh! Well, there's gonna be a fight. All right, there's a pod set Saturday. Um, I have no arms. Title card fight draw. Me. So, I'll bite your legs off. I've got no arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you what they're talking about bastard. is uh, the truck stop's getting pretty far hey, along. Rivals. Thank you, Rivals. Oh, and, you should have done uh, it while the little one was here. Six months in a row. Armless, Thank you. Wow, wave. thanks, Rivals. <laughs> I should like, I like put Jake's the microphone wave. near my shoulder to see if you can hear it cracking. <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Let's see if it works. <laughs> no! No, please, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, well. Brought to you by I don't the know, really can you hear it? <laughs> oh. Enjoy. You know, do you remember In the your... never-ending story? Yes. You remember the enemy, the weird beast wolf thing at the very end that I think Atreyu confronted in the cave and and the nothingness was closing in and he was definitely like, don't like definitely kidding. don't remember in that much detail I remember that well, there was a really really long white thing Falcor that, that could fly you leave Falcor alone Falcor. Now, now that noise was kind of like what I imagined the nothingness sounds like during mating <laughs> That was remarkably oh. specific. I love it. Okay then. Oh wow. Uh. So Miles says that the leg is making the stream is ten thousand times better. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try again this week to get it fixed. It's two weekends ago. Not a problem. Not a single problem. Tuesday. Not a problem. Today. Well, I mean, clearly you can see it. Paul, slap, fight me at noon, but it's 2 oh, p.m. <laughs> oh. That was a glorious facial expression. Ah, sorry what about that. What just happened? It exploded on me. I had to stop it before it headed everywhere. You, 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 I mean... I, I, I've never had it happen, but as far as I'm concerned, you just open it and quickly put it in your mouth so it just explodes into your... No, no. <laughs> girls like that. Oh. Uh, didn't you miss us, Jake? Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what we're actually watching in the stream here is... Um, They've done like a thousand successful different layouts uh, using the procedural layout system for the truck stops, and they're uh, coming along very well apparently. Um, but uh, yeah, this one to show some of like the huge variation they're going to be able to create with different truck stops, which I think is really cool. Now we're uh, going to watch. So we're not going to show it because I believe the image is still <laughs> technically under NDA. But yes, it is. Can I talk about the image that I've seen everywhere? That I'm sure everyone else has seen everywhere? That I... I uh, don't know what image you're talking about. So it's sure. against the rules in our Discord. Is it against the rules in our Twitch? I don't know. This is Jake. That's, well, do you have the window up? I only have the Twitch chat up. Let's see. No, I, I nope. just have the chat up. Nope. It's not against the rules? No. Um, Number seven. We can talk about something that's related that it's isn't under rule. NDA. Number seven says it's against the rules, so no talkie. Oh, okay, fine. I've got, I've got, I can help with this. Now, you know, they talked about uh, when ships break up, due to the new tech that's coming in, uh, say there's a big chunk of a caterpillar that's uh, one of the cargo pods, and, it, you know, it, it's mostly intact. It's a living module that you could walk around in, and, you know, it, I one would presume you could sit there and take it apart piece by piece by hand, but there needs to be some sort of dedicated tool for this. I mean, like, what, what kind of thing do you think would be uh, dedicated for maybe salvaging this huge wreck that I could fully explore? Well, we know that that's what the Reclaimer is for. Um, <laughs> it's just... Okay, let's put it this way. 
the reclaimer is going to be in 3.1, right? Uh, I yes. really well, hopefully I, we haven't had it confirmed. Well, uh, it's probably going to be well, in 3.1. Yeah, I really cannot wait to see how big a person is standing next to a reclaimer. Because we we've all seen the screenshot, like we've all seen people standing next to like a Starfare. And the Starfare is yeah. I can't wait to see the size of someone standing next to the reclaimer's landing pad, like landing gear. That's all I'm I gonna just, say. Yeah. I just hope that you can do more with it than just fly it around like the Starfare, I guess. I, I hope so as well. Well, the uh, you're get thank lost. you. <clears throat> The gameplay for the Reclaimer is coming in 3.2, so for a while, it'll just be a flying factory. A box. Thanks, to you. Just to <clears throat> not exactly clarify, but we're, we're not expecting with 3.2, suddenly everything on the Reclaimer is online. you got the giant claw, you're picking up bits for Constellation, you're eating it away like Unicron in Transformers movie and chucking things into Energon soups inside okay. of you. I be here's cool. what it's I'll tell you. Far more basic, here's, is it not? Here's, here's what I'll tell you. In 3.2, there are four items on the schedule. Salvage scanning, which is the ability to identify debris that could be salvaged. Salvage extraction, which is the ability to collect debris from wrecks and planets. Salvage processing, which is the ability to break down debris into its component parts. And salvage selling, which is the ability to sell or trade salvage. Take those at their most base abilities. You will be able to do the things. How detailed it will be is entirely up to the designers. There you go. So you'll be able to scan, extract, um, process, and sell salvage. I'm excited for that. In, Though, bear in mind, it just it is the first iteration. Yep. You don't expect yeah. everyone on your reclaimer suddenly after 3.2 to have a completely fleshed out multi-role crew panel and you can sit there and chug away and make massive squares out of former spaceships. <laughs> so here's here's something I want to ask all of you actually because uh, what Jake just said about like there being nothing to do in a reclaimer is I mean there's not going to be anything to do when it launches right but lots of the newer ships lots of the newer like um, manufacturer type like not manufacturer um, oh, I can't think of the word right now um Lots of the sh the newer ships have been designed with multiple roles in mind, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because we've had lots of specialized ships for a good long while, and we haven't had really too too many jack of all trades ships. Yeah, since really like the like the Cutlass or the Freelancer. Do you think that they might constellation might going forwards? add some secondary roles to things like the Reclaimer or the Orion? Do you think they'll ever, like, add in a, it can also do... No. No? No. No, they're I, specialized I think ships. Specialized ships. Um, Thanks for the host, pub. Spe specialized ships will f always be specialized. I mean, I guess you can use them as cargo ships. That's kind of a waste like, it's not very efficient to do it because it, it doesn't have, like, for its size and its cost, it does not have enough cargo space. Yeah. Like, the the cost ratio is not, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean. It's like, you know, you can, <laughs> like, you look at the look at the massive container ships on Earth. There's not a lot of other things you can do with them. Right. They move containers. That's what they do. <laughs> yep. I mean, the the only thing I could think of that maybe you could do is, like, an aircraft carrier you could use as a really terrible cargo ship. <laughs> like an Idris? Or, sorry, like, yeah, like an Idris? Yeah. Just you, really you bad cargo ship. Deck with tons of boxes. And they don't even have the mag pads, so you're going to pull some Gs, <laughs> and everything's just going to lean over to one side. Battering rams. <laughs> Any ship can be used Any as a battering ram. True, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I'm 100% with Ghost. 
we need to see reclaimer sized um what's the sh that came out not too long ago that we were like that's a ramming ship the hammerhead the, yeah the hammerhead yeah. Uh, we need we need it's reclaimer <laughs> racing we need reclaimer sized like Checkpoints. No, we've said when you hang on, yeah. hang on. When you say reclaimer racing, is it racing a person or another reclaimer? Because it's fairly even either way, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'd like to see in Star Citizen? Actually, once we start getting some of the professions on board and everything, like uh, I want to see team versus team race from the beginning to building an aurora so race in your orion to mine the minerals or race in your reclaimer to salvage enough metals to then go and build yourself a ship like and then race in that ship and the first person to get to the end with the ship that you built wins like Interesting. i mean no. you don't really build ships just by hulls i know but you know what i mean and then attach weapons to them and other things. So I we've been going through a bunch of uh, gifts while we've been talking all on the new UI. Or not mm -hmm. the, the new UI, but like the updated UI stuff. Rendered to texture UI. Yeah. Yeah, so this is actually rendering the actual... The, this is using the render to texture to render the actual ship that you are targeting um, in your in your hand, which is so cool. Guy. No reclaimer. That's, a that's that's probably the biggest question I've ever had about the uh, <laughs> reclaimer, about the reclaimer and the freelancer as well. Because yeah. you know, yeah. and also, oh, also the cutlass. They they all, got rid of that in the cutlass, them, though, didn't they? Yes. The, the engines don't swivel. Oh, yeah, yeah, they removed that. I want. Well, then uh, obviously, uh, the, obviously the cutlass is now part. at least the cutlass is now completely useless because it but doesn't. The card have... maneuver is the only maneuver <laughs> that I wish to be able to perform. <laughs> That's amazing. I when you say, do you mean the actual faster than light speed or yeah. pulling the not shirt? the not the pulling the shirt down? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our maneuver, which is the yeah the the like millisecond warp jump to fuck up your enemy. Yeah, make you think <clears> you're in you two appear in two places at once. Places at once. I, yeah. uh, that's uh, I've been watching a lot of Discovery. I love Discovery. I like so much of it. It's a better show. I like so much of it, but I really don't like their spore drive. The Orville. Right. Or Star Trek television show. Well, I think Discovery is good. I've I, heard a lot from a lot of people that Orville isn't very good. I need to so watch more Orville. Orville's all right. It's is good. It? Orville is all right. Yeah. I heard Some, from a lot of people. The, the that, problem like, I have with the Orville. Or something. The problem I have with the Orville is some episodes are actually way more Star Trek than Star Trek Discovery. Yes. <laughs> Probably. A thousand percent. Mm -hmm. One of the problems with Star Trek Discovery is it's it wants to be this whole series thing like they do Discovery in TV is now. Discovery too grim dark to be Star Trek. Yeah. And this, Star Trek this, is utopia. And this is supposed to be pre-Star Trek, right? Like it's supposed well, to be way in the past, but they have it, this spore it's drive. Archer, right? What's that? Keep in mind, is it post Archer? I think it's yeah. post yes. Archer yes. pre because Kirk. Captain Pike is in charge of the Enterprise. Yeah, at the it's moment. right before. It's right before TOS. Yeah. <laughs> then everything's fine. It's the spore drive is ridiculous. Oh, keep we in can mind, do, David. We keep can in do mind, they are fucking jumps. with the timeline. They are fucking with the timeline like constantly right now. So well, that's that's really the the deal. Well, I mean, it's like no. a whole new. It's like a reboot. Isn't no matter it, what they say, it's a reboot. In, uh, isn't it in um, JJ's alternate no. timeline? No, it's, it's in the not? prime no. timeline. It's not in the prime. It, well, it's supposed to be. That was what it's they said. Not because. Well, they, I, Dead. I'm not even going to bore you, um, but I can tell you now. And any other Star Trek Ghost fan will tell you it's not. The Expanse is is better than all of them, and I agree. Oh, but the that's Expanse is incredible. But the that Expanse to me is yeah. also too grim dark. <laughs> I want like, but it's grim dark on purpose. I know it's grim dark. I want I want back to freaking next generation. Okay, I want like some fun episodes and some heavy episodes. 
David, have you it's seen the trailer for the up- Expanse? I know it's the Expanse. I know it's it's, but I don't like Grimdark. All, most TV now is going to Grimdark, right? Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, uh, Expanse, like um, Altered Carbon. <laughs> Altered Car. So many shows are going so so Grimdark, and I know that the world around us is grim and dark and a scary place. But can't we have some entertainment in TV to combat it? Huh? Have um, you seen the trailer for the new Lost in Space? Because that, that Grim happens. Dark also oh, the robots oh, again. You haven't seen it. How can they? They can't surely. I mean, the original was so campy. The the robot is a Geth. That's fine. What? What? Geth. Geth. I didn't want to. You've just spoiled the most Geth. interesting character now as well. But Geth. okay. No, Geth. they they okay. showed it. But how? Like sure, but like. Dr. Zachary Smith is a pure comic character. See, the thing is, I feel like anyone who's saying, calling Discovery Grimdark never watched DS9, which is my favorite Star Trek. DS9, it was but not DS9 a happy is, show. DS9 is, <laughs> has, like, happiness sprinkled throughout it. It's it like does. right in the middle of the Dominion War, they have a baseball game on the holodeck. <laughs> That's a good point. It, they, they still had <laughs> that, we can do whatever we want. Of it. And, and yeah, but right after that, didn't like the the ship that had the team that they played against like blew up? Probably. Yeah. They got destroyed like right after that, and they were yes, all super did. sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's okay. <laughs> They're basically setting it up for more grimdark. <laughs> the the Ferengi got uh, feminism. <laughs> like. Like, the first Ferengi joins the Federation. Oh, yes, good that was good. What happened in that show. Yeah, and then he loses his leg. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and then he, and he hangs out in, in a 1960s Vegas bar for half a season. <laughs> this is true. I love that whole section. So anyway, are you saying that no, Ron joining Star Trek, Trek cost him an arm and a leg? <laughs> yes. Well, just a leg. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. Anyway, so- Sci-fi is actually doing really well right now. Go watch some sci-fi. Yeah, uh, there's lots of good stuff. We're going there. to questions. I didn't realize that Disco Lando yeah, does Deep Space Nine as well. Yeah. He has good Lando, taste. Lando's in chat. It's like, <laughs> Lando's like, what the hell are these <laughs> kids doing today? <laughs> you, you're so. <laughs> <laughs> we should just call up Lando. And be like, hey, we're we're not going to do questions. Lando's just going to talk about DS Nine for the rest of the show. <laughs> I'll talk about DS9 for hours on end. That's the best Star Trek show. I here. 100% agree, Jake. It is incredible. I am the one incredible. crazy you person. Have TNG. I've watched it. I prefer TNG, and I then I prefer Voyager, and then DS9. Oh, Voyager! I like Voyager. Voyager. I, I firmly Voyager believe... killed the Borg. I firmly believe... I firmly believe that Voyager has the best Star Trek episodes and the worst Star Trek episodes, but unfortunately, like ninety percent of them are not great. Voyager has Kess. Yes, exactly. Fair. I really long, long. Jetsy back. <laughs> so TV TV has in recent times learned that you can actually find decent child actors. Think Stranger Things. Uh, unfortunately, DS9 was made before that, and having so many bloody episodes with those two kids made me want to shoot them. Shoot them dead. So, hilariously enough, Nog was not played by a child. <laughs> um, he's just very short. Uh, Jake Sisko, on the other hand, I 100% agree with you. So he's bad. Worst part. Show um, so bad. Discovery, discovery, and he's uh, in like ninety five percent of the episodes. Star Trek's always had trouble with child actors. Yeah, much always. Yeah, but they just had less of them in TNG. Though I guess they had <laughs> Troy. So that's had Crusher. they have Wesley Crusher. <laughs> I don't think he's as bad. He's pretty bad. He's pretty bad, but he's, he's not as bad. He's not as bad. <laughs> Actor. Uh, <laughs> I like I like him now. In the show, he's pretty cringeworthy. And I've watched every. I like Logan as a person, but I did not like his. <laughs> the next generation. Uh, well, the, 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 the let's DS... just stop picking on Will Wheaton a minute. Okay. Will uh, Wheaton's had enough. Hey, Will, Will, Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton is in Hot Fuzz. <laughs> I think. Is it him? 
Is, I don't think he's in Hot Fuzz. All right, let's, let's answer some questions. Wasn't it him? Oh, no, maybe <laughs> it's someone else. Oh, crap. Yeah, Do sorry. Uh, we're going to go to questions. Uh, keep in mind... Keep in mind the uh, the threat that has actually worked for the past like three or four uh, three or four casts is still in effect. If we reach the end of the questions before we reach the end of the show, I will sing. Let's get to questions. Oh All right. Uh, is this where we're at? What's that? Oh no, this, these are just ones. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so a, a few from last week first. Uh, apparently, I asked why my face was so close to the camera uh, because I like it. Uh, Tilu asked, "Can one of you clear that up? I believe that in one of the latest ATV, they explained that they'll use one server per area, so a few to make the Stanton system work. What does that mean for player rented slash hosted servers?" Um, they uh, have. Go ahead, Jake. Well, they're... okay. Can, they, can, well, I, can well, I take player... a shot at this? Player hosted servers won't have near the amount of of ability to have that many players in it. Go ahead, Eric. So you don't need multiple servers. Yeah, like well, first of all, player hosted servers are I'm guessing about five years away. Um, that's my it, guess. Yeah. Um, and so and they have a lot of time to release, optimize so, for that, yeah. but yeah, like the whole, the whole backend simulation won't run on there. Um, number of players will be limited. There'll be a lot of probably like things that make it easier to run. Yeah. Um, um, I want to also say, I'm going to retract slightly. There was one good episode with Jake Sisko in it, but he, he wasn't played by the normal actor who played <laughs> Jake Sisko. <laughs> It was Jake oh, Sisko. that was a great episode. It was a great episode where um, great episode. Like future Jake Sisko Amazing. was pretty good. It was a good yeah, one. Totally. Uh, I apologize. I got some numbers wrong. Uh, out of 176 episodes, Jake Sisko was only in 100 or, or only in 71. 71. So less than half. I about cannot, but I'm sure Disco could. Uh, but yeah, 40 at least, uh, around 40 percent then of the episodes Do of DS9 not... should be thrown out. Do not uh, challenge Disco Lando's knowledge of the Star Trek. I never will. He will. He will put you down. I can we have a Star Trek off with Disco Lando? Cause I, I want that to happen. Uh, Lando, let's have a Star Trek podcast. Make totally, <laughs> I would do it. I would love that. Let's do Make it. it. I'll so. be on. Um. By the way, if anybody. I don't care if you watch any other DS9 episode. Everyone should at least go watch In the Pale Moonlight. Yes. The best, best Star Trek episode ever made. I, uh, I, I, I like the end of, of um, Next Gen. What's it called? Making of a Man? Something of a Man? Oh, is that where Measure it was? Measure of a Man? Like, oh, that's Measure, TNG. Measure of a Man. Yeah, no, TNG. that's TNG, I, I think. I would say that's the best Star Trek episode ever. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. What's the one where Kirk fights the uh, crocodile man? <laughs> Go on. That's the word. Corn. <laughs> the best. Oh, well, actually, Measure of a Man is good, but I still think In the Pale Moonlight's better. Lando says he can't shiver. Murder is illegal in California. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was a progressive state. <laughs> uh, okay, so Jiru asks, do you think they're going to model procedurally and or otherwise with all of the major cities that they have today just in the future? Would you like to visit your own city uh, if they do? Uh, no. <laughs> no one knows. Yeah. Honestly, their biggest problem with creating Star Citizen is going to be creating the solar the, the soul system. Like, not only Earth. I mean, Earth will be a freaking nightmare. But there's a lot. We know a lot of things about our solar system. They have to be right. Yeah, they can't, <laughs> can't take creative liberties. By the time by the time Star Citizen by the time Star Citizen is out and the soul system is created, there might be Tesla colonies popping up on Mars. <laughs> 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 nice. I really yeah. hope that he considers this to be funny and not. No. I hope so too. <laughs> uh, 
that, All right. Mm, this con. one I, re- I want to that answer. That was a joke for anyone that's wondering. This one I really want to answer. Okay, go. Go, Jake. Jiru says, I recently have been approached by Crytek. Should I pursue the position? If so, would you all disown me as a community member? I wouldn't disown you as a community member, but I'd be worried about your livelihood because they're probably not going to pay you. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd, if you want to get paid, go work for them. If you've got nothing and you want the experience, then yeah, take it totally. Take it on the off chance that if, they will be good and will pay you. Like internship, then sure. But if it's leaving well, a paying job it, to work for a company that might not pay you and might be gone in a few months, then it would be questionable. <laughs> Alternatively, if you do have genuine <laughs> CryEngine experience, have a look at CIG because yeah. you are in the well, minority. Well, and Lando says, Lando says he gives it 50-50 if SpaceX will get to Mars before Star Citizen does. <laughs> <laughs> Different priorities. <laughs> well, I mean... You, yeah. You'll get, Jiru, you get paid in cryptocurrency, so... So there's that. <laughs> a really bad cryptocurrency. Uh, like, not a good one. I have to say, I think that SpaceX will actually get to Mars before Star Citizen gets to Mars. I think Star Citizen will come out before SpaceX has colonies on Mars. It really depends on uh, whether or not uh, yeah. Elon is... Elon is um, what, what constitutes a colony? People landing. Not just not just the BFR and some are like supplies. The, uh, are we going with the Martian definition that there has to be agriculture? I mean, that's yeah, one of their first plans. So yeah, going to need agriculture like right away. So yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, it's not what considered a, a stable a colony until you've got a Starbucks. If, if, you guys, <laughs> if you guys have not seen the Martian, the Martian well, is excellent. It is. I love that movie. Go watch it. Sorry, Jake. I didn't mean to interrupt you. But uh, no, it... Carbide Edge, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. It's like when, and, and I'm sure that's what Eric and Jake were trying to say as well. When, when it comes to trying to create soul, CIG don't have to make just Earth, right? They have to make a Mars that is alive and other, like all the planets and all the moons and all of the solar system will be pretty fully explored by then. So there's a lot of stuff that they have to fill up with with I mean, unless unless didn't the they... Mars Terra in oh, am I am I I'm not sure if I'm thinking of the right game, but didn't they try terraforming Mars in law and they failed? Uh, but then they succeeded. They failed. Well, and they then did they succeed. Oh, okay. I must they tried again. The they tried again. I think forty years later, and or forty or eighty, I can't remember. But they yeah, they had a huge disaster, killed like almost four thousand people on the surface, and then uh, they tried again. Do you think they'll? Um, uh, do you think they'll change that to be more accurate with Elon Musk's existence? Um, <laughs> well, we live in an alternative reality from Star Citizens. You know that there was a point where they forked off. No, where we forked off, and the Star Citizen is the actual prime timeline, and we're just an alternative route. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's one of the really important things about. Uh, I'm totally gonna. Go off in the direction of space exploration for a moment. <laughs> Prevals just asked the best question. I'm dying. Where is... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, real... I'm just going to answer it. Is the Brave Little Toaster better than all of sci-fi? The answer is yes. yes. The answer is yes. 100% okay. yes. Probably one of the the direction I was going before here. Probably one of the bravest things that Elon Musk has said. I think to bravest. this point is, he, yes, the the bravest. Yeah, yeah. No, I tied it in. So brave. Um, he uh, he said in the 2016 IAC presentation, he's like, well, people are gonna die trying to do Mars exploration. Yep. There's no way around it. Yep. It's gonna happen. Yep. And the problem, I think, one of the things Space that makes dangerous. The, that makes NASA programs so expensive is that they are basically trying to eliminate all risk and it's impossible for deep space travel. It's not going to happen. They're, they're trying to be safer with deep space travel than they are with cars. Yeah. Like, sorry yeah. guys, but all right, we got a bunch of questions. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, so can I, can I answer fast cuts that just came in? Yes. Uh, 
Yes. If Star Citizen is the prime timeline, where was the fork? <laughs> It was, pie. it was over the moon with the spoon, yes. as I understand it. <laughs> uh, Tilu asks, do you ever see CIG in the... working on totally different genre of games in the future post-Star Citizen? And what would you like to see? They, no. will, start, they will start a, uh, a MOBA in 2076. Inside be, uh... Star Citizen. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. I see, I see um, CIG working to import all other games into Star <laughs> wait, Citizen. Wait, so wait. And, and and eventually becoming wait. a content distributor like Steam, where you buy your games inside Star Citizen and wait. play them while you're sitting in Star Citizen. Guys, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> the MOBA Go. thing 2076 is going to work. You know why? Because I by don't... then... Um, we'll have gone through the whole cycle. Dota 2 and League and Heroes will be gone. And then the cycle will start. <laughs> Man, remember MOBAs? Weren't they awesome? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, it feels like it's been ages since someone questioned the validity of my mother or my parentage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um... Brivals asks, for the non-technical, also known as me, uh, did the performance and optimizations and the... <laughs> I can't even read the question. Did the performance and optimizations explanations work for you, or was too much information overload? Um, so the thing with getting technical, in, like, you can't please both sides. You're either going to get super technical and please all the super techies, or you're going to go all the way on the other side and not provide enough information. Um, so by them, I, I always am a believer in more information is good. So, Yep. Um, we tried to kind of simplify it in our TLDR for the, um, to, to give it more of a, we didn't really do a lot of technical de detail in the TLDR. It's mostly like our understanding of what that was being said. So go check that out on Relay. Um, you're a dummy like me. And uh, I, I thought their explanation was good. They actually went right from the, like, very, very basics and then built it up to, like, you know, a more complicated understanding. Um, but, uh, I mean, even then, it's super technical. It's just the way that performance optimization is. <clears throat> Are we on Haramis's question? Yes. Okay. Haramis asks... Basis of player-to-player -player contracts comes with 3.1. What are your general thoughts? What's planned for the first implementation? And what possibilities do you see for the finished feature? Also, how long until the first fraud case? Uh, first fraud case, 30 minutes. No, no, he wants his guesses in milliseconds. Uh, times... Uh, <laughs> that. <laughs> um, 30 minutes. I think I it's a like fantastic things. idea. It's going to be abused at the beginning. Oh, um, yeah. Just because of the way that it's things work. It's the damn cat. Good, we though. fucking called it. There it, it is. The fucking cat. There it, it is. Pandering. Is titty Pandering. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Even the cat doesn't want to be a part of this. <laughs> hey, he started it. Hello, Mr. Squarepack. Okay, sorry. Uh, where are we? Um, Star Citizen for Dummies asks... <sighs> okay. I thought yesterday's RTV answer kind of confusing. Could you quickly, and in layman's terms, explain the difference between object bind culling and serial variables culling and their respective contribution to performance gains? I just like saying the word culling. I'll take this one. Go ahead, Nakara. <laughs> um... <laughs> So we talked about this earlier, but basically bind culling is the object does not exist in your game, period. It's not there. It gets culled right out. It gets removed from the game. It gets removed from memory. You don't get any updates on it. It's not there. Um, serialized variable culling basically puts that entity to sleep, that object to sleep, so that it no longer receives any updates from the server. It's no longer being processed locally by your CPU. But it will still be held in memory. So they think most of their performance gain they were looking for will come with serialized variables, but 
the memory part will not be um, recovered yet, and then that's why they'll still do still do bind culling. The way the reason they need to have object container streaming for bind culling is they don't want every time you go to a new area for you to have to sit there and load all of the objects that are in that area before you can actually play the game there. Um, they uh, so they'll as you're traveling there, they'll be loaded on a background thread using object container streaming, streaming them in, and then they'll be there when you get there. So yeah, that's it. Now Brivals asks. Uh, should people have gone into this much detail when most people won't understand it? Yes. yes. More information is better. Yes, people because can, there's always... It, you can go read about it. There's always someone, someone like Nikara it. or Shiver or uh, someone smart, uh, not me or Jake, that will explain it to you. Not me. Definitely not me. Oh, I'm just here to ask... Crap, you're a horrible person. I'm just here to ask when the Prowler's finished. Never. The answer is never. Never. Although the Dur reappeared on the schedule. So Shiver, nice. Shiver, do you want to take that question? Not yeah, with that, the new that, Twitch that community was... guidelines. Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Let's move on. Uh, he knows at least 60% of my answer anyway. It's true. Uh, Jake's Temper asks, best guess on 3.1 to non evocati PTU. <sighs> Listen. <laughs> Two weeks. Yeah, that's boring. Uh, Hermes the Harry Muffer, uh, asks, they said once that they researched technologies to create geometry from pictures. Do you think that could be a b good possibility to get the geogra uh, sorry, the geographic topology right, or are there already models to buy? I guess it's talking like specifically about trying to create the geo like the the surface topology of Earth, um, which could be a giant pain in the ass. I think there's data that you can buy. Um, yeah. In fact, I'm I'm 100 percent certain that there's data. data you can buy, and I think that's probably the best way to go for CIG is to buy the surface uh, topology data for the Earth and then work off of that. If they listen, <laughs> all right. Here, here's here's my opinion of what CIG should do for Earth. They'll just blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's a question for you, Nakara. Here's a question for you. On that vein, oh. uh, we've actually uh, got pretty good. Marvel did it. it tr Why can't CIG do it? <laughs> we, we've, we've actually got pretty good topology for things like Mars, the Moon, mm -hmm. many of the. Just barely for Mars, we're just kind of getting there. But but we're getting there for Mars. Do you think they'll yep. uh, go speak to NASA or whomever about you know getting an accurate model for Mars? For sure. Okay, here is the here is the amazing thing about it's NASA. All... Yeah. For anybody who doesn't like NASA. All of that like NASA, public domain. All, all of that information is public domain and freely available, <laughs> and and they don't even have to buy it. It nope. just uh, they can just ask NASA for it, and NASA goes, "Here you go. <laughs> this is Mars. Enjoy. Have some Mars." Yep. yep. So that's the. I mean, that is the huge cool thing about NASA is all of their all of the data they collect is public domain. So. Okay. Awesome. So this this next question goes straight <clears throat> to Nakara. And is directed straight towards Disco Lando's e uh, if he's still here. Fr from, Lando. <laughs> uh, from the transcriber chat that I appeared in on over the last couple of days. Yeah. I test to this. <laughs> so a missing transcriber, sorry, asks, how tough was ATV to transcribe this week? Um... Very difficult. Uh, I was I was homesick from work, um, so I, I actually worked on it right from when it came out. Um, and I worked on it right from when it came out, and it took us eight hours. We had four people. Yeah. Um, and that was simply because of the... We had it done earlier, but we had a lot of parts where we couldn't really understand. Had so we had three or four people go re-listen to good portions of it. Um so it took it probably took about four to five hours to transcribe and then another couple hours of editing and posting and getting it up and trying to make sure it was completely accurate or as accurate as we could get it 
Um, but this that was probably one of the hardest ones. And it's funny because it, it actually followed on the easiest one. The one from last week was 17 minutes long, and most of it was them just playing videos from Squadron 42. It took me less than two hours, and I did it myself. <laughs> All myself. <laughs> it's like the contrast. I was laughing so hard. They're like, well, well this is like totally unbalanced. <laughs> Shiver, if I give you money, <laughs> will you mail me some Jaffa Cakes? You like Jaffa Cakes, really? I like orange. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you like Jaffa Cakes, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will also... Now is also There's a good... There's another one I like from the UK. I don't remember. Now is also a good time for uh, me to give a huge shout out and thank you again to Heremus, who uh, did all of the gifts for this week. He's been going through and grabbing gifts and sending them to me so that I can use them in the show and tell, which is fantastic. Thank you. Is he German? Yeah, thank you very much, Hermes. Is he German? Yes. German? Yes. All the way from Germany. We got relay people on every continent. It's yep. pretty awesome. Uh, so for I can off, handle actually, it. I can actually, go to the loo I whenever I want. I don't think we have <laughs> anybody in Antarctica yet, so somebody's got to get on that. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll head down. We need we need someone to go to the no. Antarctic Research Station with a relay pin and send us a picture. Pull back. Uh, fork off, Pull back. Sugar, Shiver, yeah. uh, asks, which 3.1 ship are you most excited to drive around on planets? The Reclaimer. I don't care that it doesn't drive. I don't care that it shouldn't go on planets. I am going to crash that thing into every other thing. <laughs> the science. <laughs> For no, no, I, I, no, because I want to, I want to see. We actually have a question for science. Stormy this week. Ooh. Stormy says, uh, "What is your favorite sci-fi show?" Currently, The Expanse. Ever, uh, probably a tie between DS Nine and Battlestar Galactica. New one. Nakara. <sighs> um. Yeah, I like in recent years, The Expanse, I think, is probably one of the best sci fi shows to come out in a very long time. Um, and I'm honestly very similar to Jake in this. DS9 is my favorite, uh, is my favorite sci fi show of all time. Oh, actually, oh god, I forgot about Firefly for a second. Um, tie between DS9 and Firefly. Shiver? At the moment, it's the series of 12 Monkeys, which is actually really quite good. Nice. Considering it's got no Bruce Willis in it, it's pretty good. And overall, I Star Trek heard TNG, about that. It's pretty good. I need to watch it. Um, yeah. it it's Doctor you got to get over the whole where's Bruce? Doctor Who. Uh, Marvel's Doctor Agents Who of isn't Sh isn't consistently good enough for me to put it on my list. It is still one of my favorite TV shows. Period. It's happy and fun. Love it. Uh, if Agents of take... Shield. If you were to okay. take 10 and 11 seasons in a bubble so and good. say, This is Doctor Who? Yeah. I would agree with you. Uh, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And going out on a Shield's weird... So good. Going out Are on, you caught up, David? No, I'm not. Have you watched this season at all? I've, I started this season. It's so nuts. good. It's so... <laughs> and, and, I they might not they might not re re um re, re, like renew Agents of Shield and that will honestly be one of the biggest no, no, no. disappointments. No, 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 they said if they don't renew it on ABC, it's going to be on their streaming service. Really? Yes. Oh, cool. Good because well, it along is with the along with the live action Star Wars show directed by John. Yes, Favreau, that is awesome. Got... Seriously though, if if any of you haven't gone and watched Agents of Shield, Agents of Shield is one of the best shows on television in my opinion. The first season is it starts out as a bit of a slog, but then it honestly is consistently fantastic. Um, I haven't missed it. I'm saving up so I. I can't just watch one episode at a time. I haven't watched it yet. I'm watching it tonight. I can't watch one episode at a time. When I get, like, I need, like, eight episodes because I watch them all in, like, one day. And I love it. Um, 
Anyway, Agents, Doctor Who Agents is the only one that I keep up with because it ties into the movies. Yes, and I see the movies when they release. Yeah, so so I have to keep up with it. Agents There's of no Shield way for me to do it. Way. Doctor Who, and going out on a strange limb, FLCL. Wow, what's that? What's F? What's that? FLCL. FLCL. Okay, it's apparently in, 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 enlighten me. Please. It is a bloody insane it's an anime. anime that Oh, that explains it. I'm but sorry. but with with excellent music and it's mind bending and twisted and I love it. And it has a really there depressing only, ambiguous fully, fully. ending like every other fucking anime. No, no, there it just only, it ends. There are only six ends. episodes. Yeah, and it ends. <laughs> and it's not, you know, incredibly depressing like most animes and it's just there's FLCL. It's okay. weird as hell. It has amazing Wait, music, and it ends. You would say that most anime is depressing. I hate most anime yes. endings because you, you watch it for hours and hours and hours, and then and you go, happens. "The fuck did I just waste my life watching this shit for?" Because they just erase uh, everything at the uh, end. Go well. You might as well have not watched it. No, so, Noscavian okay, has okay. Noscavian. There has the best summary of it. Uh, this kid has a robot that grows out of his forehead, and it becomes his friend. And they play some guitar. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Um, I would say so, my my most recent favorite sci-fi anime was um, oh, it's on Netflix. Oh, what is it called? Uh, hold on. I gotta okay. find it. While you're, it while you're saying that, oh, I yeah. am stunned that David finds Doctor Who to be fun and and lighthearted. Ninety percent of that show is incredibly depressing. Like, like just yeah, bad things happen in every episode yes, unrelentingly. But, <laughs> but here's the thing: bad things happen in every episode unrelentingly, and. Instead of being an ass, instead of trying to, to take it out on other people, instead of having just bad people, Doctor Who is consistently about people being positive in the face of their challenges. The Doctor is always happy. Depends on the Doctor. Yes, very, very, very. <laughs> no, cause, cause, cause really, I'm really thinking does. back to about 20, 30 years worth of Doctor Who. He was not a happy chappy. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> Original series, maybe, but you like the new Genesis series? Genesis of the Daleks, if you want it's excellent. dramatic it, it, Doctor it's, Who. It's excellent. That was fantastic. But, oh, man. Oh! Weeping Angels. Oh, so it. good. Oh, yeah. I oh, found absolutely. it. It's called Aldenoa Zero. I'll type it in the chat. It's about um, giant robots in the Cold War between Earth and Mars. It's awesome. Nice. So okay. tie in with the expense. <laughs> uh, yeah. Except, except no giant mech robots. Next question. Yeah. Next question is Eric, my apparently my tweed jacket uh, is asking when will there be an official relay game of hide and seek inside a reclaimer? Uh, when three point one launches, 3 .1. if the reclaimer is in there, uh, I I do plan on organizing organizing a stream one of it. I'm going to stream walking through that thing, and two, I want people to join me to have a fight in a reclaimer. We'll fly it out somewhere where we can shoot things and then just run around in a reclaimer, because... <laughs> yeah. The next question's incredible. Uh... Oh. I love it. You can take it, then. It's all yours. Go ahead, Nakara. Uh, Fastcard asks, what do you think of implementing butt handle controls in Star Citizen? Here's an example. And I'll put the link in chat. Castlevania was good, um, actually. Short, I'm pretty good. sure oh, that somebody will mod that in. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> wow. Anime does anything. Yep. Uh, yep. Rivals asks, where do you think the hero landing zones will be in the soul system? Titan, Europa, Enceladus, etc. Uh, that aren't Earth? Yeah, that Are aren't, that aren't Earth. Earth. That aren't Earth, yeah. Because we know those locations. Yeah. Uh, uh, Titan for sure. Um, there's got to be a lunar colony. There's always a lunar yeah. colony. Lunar Mars. colony, Mars colony. Um, if they I don't, the if they don't put the, if they don't put the biggest and best 
Earth colony on Pluto. <laughs> totally. I was just going to say, they need to have a colony on Pluto. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Little tiny freaking rock floating through space. It may not have, <laughs> it may not have planet status, but it's better than the other planets in status. That's still, by the way, that's still a really like raging argument oh. in the community um, of astronomy. All I want is, uh, did any of you play the space Call of Duty? Yes. No. No. Uh, I gave up Call of Duty a long time ago. Uh, play the campaign of the space Call of Duty if you get the chance. If someone gives it to me for it's, free, then yes, I'll play it. Or, uh, like, find it. Do you have, do you have a console? Yes. Go to a red box. Just three bucks. I haven't seen a red box in probably ten years. We don't we don't have that ship up in Canada. They, they, used, to, they, they used to be here and they they left. It, That's they sad. don't make enough money up in Canada. Um, so all right. Well, anyway, um, the opening of that game is on Europa, and it's just just beautiful because like you get the full scale of Jupiter just in front of you. And it's it's a freaking spectacle here. I'm gonna find. By the way, amazing. It sounds like a amazing, jovial time. Amazing moment in uh, the expanse. Actually, moments in the expanse related to Europa. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Um. By the way, if you haven't seen the expanse, I don't know what you're doing watching this show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I have Amazon Prime. The first two seasons are on there. We only have two more questions, so I'm gonna get to sing in a moment. Um, asking for asking for a friend asks, has Shiver now confirmed that he'll be running a sporklift business in the PU? Look at this. Uh, yeah, it's it's very pretty. <laughs> if only if only they could have attached some gameplay to it. Go what? Shiver, it's all you, man. Da, 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 da. Shiver, go. Sporklift, sporklift company is going to be um, a front for um, I just like killing. Which will be my main focus. That's the word's name. I just like killing. Uh, I'll kill anyone. Right out of Rick and Morty. Shiver, Shiver's the only member of the org because the the org's name is I just like killing. Not we. Yes. Not we just like killing. I mean, there there have been people that come, but then they get a sudden retirement package. <laughs> Full of killing. Uh, I just like killing. Brivals asks our last question. Uh, maybe I'll sing, sing some some Queen. Oh, there we go. In a moment. Um, not to make fun of thick ac accents, but how long did it take you to transcribe that developer's thick German accent? Eight hours. Eight hours. It's a lot for that, though. Uh... We've been saved for just a moment from my singing. Um, apparently, my new haircut asks, are you cold? Yes. Yeah, actually, it's really cold in this basement. In Canada. Like, yeah. super cold. Actually, we've got, like, zero and two degree okay. week all this week. Is, this is probably going to be really bad, but I'm going to do something to show you how beautiful it is outside. <sighs> oh, Wow. Look at that. Okay. I, is that the there? Alamo? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called Texas. Sure. Wait, how did you go from space directly back to... Oh my god. I'm, I'm a god. Uh, Next question. Go. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert no. you. No. Never gonna make <laughs> you cry. Ass, like... Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Never gonna kill. Uh, okay, we actually have another question. Yeah, we've got some others. Fastcart has saved you. Everyone, thank Fastcart. Uh, Fastcart asks, "Who's your favorite character from the Expanse?" Uh, the Rosinante. <laughs> oh, good choice. <laughs> um, did, did you read that article about the, uh, like, friggin' the regalia from FF15 is, like, the, the director of FF15 considered the regalia to be one of the characters? Come on. Uh -huh. It's a car. No. It's a beautiful, 
coalescent <laughs> automobile that loves and lives. Um, that's what it... I was just looking for a name because I forgot it momentarily. I think one of the most interesting characters and I think my favorite character in the show is Christian Av- yes. Avis- Avisarala. Sorry, took me a second. Uh, she also does a ton of voice acting. <laughs> so you, yeah. the minute she opens her mouth, you're like, yep. Yeah, I, I knew who she was instantly. Yeah. I, was like, oh, her. I remember you from the Quarry and Fleet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, she was Admirals, right? Yes. Yeah. And she was also in Star Trek Beyond. Uh, yes. David Don't Sing asks, do you guys attend any conventions huh. regularly? Uh, uh, Citizen Con, Citizen we do. Con. Um, the help groups count. <laughs> I usually attend PAX East, but I didn't because, well, I'm not going to in two weeks because I just moved. Um, Go to PAX South? I'm probably, well... It's in January, so I have to Next wait. Pack South. <laughs> yeah, I will be going to the following Pack South. Uh, there are basically no decent cons up here in the frozen north, and CIG hey, ref- hey, refuses hey, to come here. Good one. Uh, no, I I went to the Toronto, uh, not Comic Con. There's a major convention in Toronto that I've been to a few times, and it just wasn't that fun. I mean, you walk around the vendor booths, then you're done walking around the vendor booths, and then you're done with the con. So. Um, I go to Calgary Comic Connect Entertainment Expo every year um, for the whole time, and I love it very, very much. Um, if you're ever in Calgary for Comic Expo, it's the end of April. Um, come and join us. It's fun. There's, it's a huge con now. I think they get like a couple hundred thousand people. So, it's getting huge. I, I do need to go up and visit Turbulent. I just need to find the uh, the time to head out there. Yes. All right. We're, we're going to end. Yeah. It's with 154. This one. Well, which one? Ooh, that's a good one. This one. Which one? This The one I've highlighted. I don't see anyone highlighted. Yeah, but what color are you? Oh, green one. Okay. I'm blue. Uh, in that case, okay, right. in that case, really, really quickly, fast cart. Are you looking to? Are you looking forward to seeing Young Han Solo? Yes. Yes. All Star Wars is good, yeah. even when it's bad. Yep. I actually really liked the trailer. I like how different it was than yeah. most Star Wars trailers, and I'm I'm really looking uh, forward. Freaking. Also, come Donald, on, Disco. Donald Glover and Amelia Clark are gonna Lando. save that movie. Yeah. I, I oh, think I think fine. Lando's gonna be like. I, Actually, we should. That's we why should. I listed Donald Glover. Yes, first. I know. Can I, can I just <laughs> we ask? Should, uh, is the we first should one ask our Han very own. Go ahead. Is, is the first one going to be Han Solo and the second one Han Duo? Yes. So, next one. Is, is the, sec- is is the third one going to be Han 3 or Han 3 po <laughs> No, no, it's going to be C3PO. Oh, okay. Tree. Um, Here's the here, here's my question: Is our disco Lando going to just sit in the theater and continuously watch this movie for like the next couple months? Yes, like following. I was secretly hoping the code the code master guy in the Last Jedi was going to be Lando, but it was not. Uh, Haramis asks: Player to player interdiction and future of our hangers next week in ATV. Excited? Oh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah. As long as the answer to player to player interdiction is nerfing NPC interdiction. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to see what we can do with hangers. Yeah, me too. Th- there was a lot of promise originally about hangers. I still want drones in my hangar. I still want the ability to build out your hangar with additional rooms and like construct your own base like yeah. we were supposed to have originally. Uh, do that, CIG. Hey, I Disco, think I'm most watching. excited oh. about. <laughs> pressing that button and the doors open and you can just fly into space. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Last question for today by Curious. <laughs> by nice. Curious, not by Curious. <laughs> That's the question. I dated a girl like that once. Uh, so, wow. <laughs> What games are you currently playing? We'll start with Shiver. 
Oh, Christ. Uh, Hearts of Iron 4. I went back to Sid Meier's Beyond Earth, playing Civ 6, Transport Fever, and Mass Effect 2. Nakara? I am um, playing lots of different stuff right now, but my most recent uh, journey was on Sunless Sea, which is Great a game. fantastic game. Uh, super dark, really funny, um, and really hard, which is kind of a cool mix. Um, and uh, really enjoying that game. Um, also playing Rocket League, uh, PUBG, um, and... Uh, uh. A bunch of other... Oh, and Kerbal Space Program. I'm currently going through uh, a playthrough of Kerbal Space Program. They which announced is an expansion. Yes, uh, they, I saw some early reviews from that saying it is incredible. So, Jake? Uh, so, there's, there's the games that are always on my rotation, and then there's the games I'm currently playing. The games that are always on my rotation are a variation of Civ 6, or any Civilization game, really. Um... World of Warcraft, and then either Overwatch or Heroes of the Storm, depending on my mood. Um, the two games that I'm playing right now, besides those, are um, a game that just came out called Into the Breach, yep. which is uh, the newest game from the developers of FTL. Oh, yeah, I gotta um, check that. It is amazing it's a it's like a really tight tactics game like a turn-based tactics game but it's like small um, maps right like it's yeah eight by eight maps yeah it's kind of like um, puzzle it's it's, it's, it's like it's awesome puzzle tactics um, and then the other game that i'm playing is into the breach oh, oh uh duh. dragon ball fighter z nice it's awesome Oh yeah, and I haven't I haven't played it this week, but I've I've been playing a bunch of uh, the the of Stellaris recently because they came out with a huge patch that totally revamped that game, and it yep. is just even more so amazing than it was before. Yep. yep. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for a patch for the patch for Stellaris. I'm starting. They already did patch the patch. I'm starting up my uh, I'm starting up my FF15 uh, journey because it's on I'm PC start now. That again. It's on PC, so I'm starting up my FF15 journey. It, it is a looker, man. It that is. game is beautiful. I, I'm actually really impressed. I can max it out on everything. Yeah. And it looks... It's really well optimized. Gorgeous. Absolutely I've, gorgeous. Really liking I've it so far. I've decided that your, your NVIDIA video card is slowing down your internet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, for those of you who are a little iffy on a Final <laughs> Fantasy game, because they played them in the past and didn't like them. Uh, this is not a turn-based game. Yeah. Um, this game plays actually very similar. I mean, I say this and people will be like, puke. But um, it plays very similarly to Kingdom Hearts. It's an action RPG. Yeah, it's very oh, cool. much action. And it's it's very fun. And um, it's an open world game. Yeah. Can we just quickly say Surviving Mars is coming out on Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. yes. Check it out. Um, yes. It looks fantastic. Uh, I'm I'm so excited. About I'm you. also I'm also I'd like to finish my list. Thanks, guys. No God. Yeah, do your. Do your uh, list. I'm Go. I'm also playing, and the thing that I'm, well, one thing that I'm really excited to play because it comes out in ten days is I am excited to try Sea of Thieves when it launches. Mm. Um, we'll see, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Microsoft. Hey, the noise out of the hey, noise out of Jake. There was. <laughs> you, you can get like a ten or fifteen day. Uh, free pass. Oh yeah, uh, Sarah just reminded me. Yeah. I'm also playing DR Galactic. I, I'm playing some DRG because DRG is act, is really fun. Uh, but my fa honestly, my favorite game that I'm playing right now is Vermintide Two. Uh, because I wish I liked those games. I don't. It's, I appreciate them for what they it are. It is. It is Left for Dead, but better. It is and loot. But but it's got loot, and now it's also got like character me, classes yeah. and character <sighs> levels me, and talents. It's I like, like OG. I don't like OG Warhammer. Oh, it's so good. If that was a 40k game, I'd probably buy it right now. I wish. Yeah. I wish they would 100%. do that in 40k. I wish they'd do it in 40k because one of the they biggest did problems... about 30 years ago. It was called Space Hulk. Yeah, and they they haven't redone it. 
Um, right. Years ago. Well, they uh, they have, but not in the same way. They, <laughs> they remade, did it as a tactics. There's a company fairly recently that did exactly the same as the board game in 3D, which was pretty good if you like the game. But I want to power fist a fucking gene stealer in the face. I, I really think that they need to do Vermintide 2, but in the 40k universe rather than the the og because i really like the original universe we like should Warhammer. play some more bridge crew we need I to play more bridge crew. God about bridge crew. Uh, i have set up here deathwing now. was apparently pretty bad and uh yes. very yeah De deathwing very was not great that's that's part of the problem deathwing i i bought it i was really excited for it because i thought deathwing that's what bad. it would be which universe but it was in. bad um that was a warcraft joke i know uh it wasn't funny because it was Warcraft. Uh, we do need to do some bridge crew. One of the things I really want to do still is fix my internet because I don't really feel comfortable streaming games until my internet stops doing what it's what's doing to you right now, which is uh, going to when it is. I can stream. Uh, yeah, we we need to play some more bridge crew because I have it. Jake has it. Shiver has it because it's no longer only on on uh, VR. And uh, hey, maybe we should uh, see if Disco wants to play. It's just some so at some much point. funnier with VR though. It is so good. <laughs> Anyway, um, that is going to be it. One hand motions. Uh, that's going to be it for us <laughs> for the night or for that's the day. Uh, keep in mind, go check out uh, the Astro Pub shortly in about two hours. Uh, Captain's Table. Captain's Table. On that. We got our boy Gray Headed Gamer at midnight Eastern yeah. with the Not So Sober Saturday. At least I'm pretty sure he's doing it today. I never uh, know which week he does it on. Podsat. Uh, I think it's now just he's doing it normally, but maybe not every week. But, okay, that that is why we set. have we have the um, the Pod Sat Saturday logo up on the main screen here, uh, where the relay station part of the Pod Sat Saturday. It's your Saturday of Star Citizen goodness. Hang out, mm -hmm. watch some people talk, and uh, have yourselves a fun time. Have a few drinks. Yep. And, I uh, did. Maybe right we'll see you in the verse. Uh, you, you, that's the worst pimping I've ever heard in my life. I can't Listen, do it, got Jake. So much other things to pimp. Right, I here can't we go. do it. Let's go. Let's do this. Hey, if you enjoyed the show, click that follow button right up there. It's the purple one. There's a purple one right next to it that says subscribe. If you really enjoyed the show, you get really dumb emotes. If you do, <laughs> please, people in the chat, I would like to see those dumb emotes displayed there they are um also if you missed part of the show and you want to watch it again it's gonna be on youtube at some point and other audio things as well i say at some point that's the truth um sometime between up, now and next friday if you want some more updates on what we're doing you could follow us twitter.com slash really underscore sc Relay underscore SC. If you want to hang out with us, it's pretty much the best way to keep in touch with us and hang out and talk about garbage things. Uh, go to discord.gg slash Relay SC because they don't like underscores. Yeah. Um, I don't like underscores, but not the symbol, the person. Oh, burn. <laughs> wow. I've used that joke more than once, but it's too easy. If uh, if you're <laughs> if you're one of these content creating peoples and would like to come on the show, uh, let me know on Discord because I'm getting kind of sick of these guys' mugs because this is all I ever get to see. So uh, let us know if you'd like to be on the show. Don't you ever eh? think we might get sick of you there, David? No, no one gets sick of me. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to mention something because it's one of my favorite uh, publisher, game maker people. Um, it is Paradox Weekend on Humble Bundle. So go yes. check out if you like go Paradox games. Video games. Uh, go check it out. They have some good deals. Okay, everyone. I'd just like to very quickly announce before we go. Oh, yes. Melissa Estrada. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Go have a good time. Go drink some beer. <laughs> go play some games. Have go watch some more podcasts. Have a good weekend. We'll see you in the verse.